Hi, and welcome to a new segment here on our show. It's called Discovering Dataflix, but it's actually an old concept uh, that I've started making like 2015. But um, after a while, uh, Data Access started making their own learning center, which is a very good place for learning about Dataflix. So I kind of dropped out of the uh, making Dataflix videos for a while, but I think there is still a place because the videos on the learning center are very uh, clean and um, described exactly how you should do step by step on a certain topic. But I want to um, bring in things that are around the development of applications, the thinking about how you should think about setting up a database, how you connect to Git, how you um, think about what components to add into your application. So in this segment, we will learn together and build an application. And I have not yet decided what application to build. So if you have any ideas or you want to build something special, then um, put it in the comments below and I'll have a look and see if we can pursue that. Uh, otherwise, I want to try some different things. I want to show you how Dataflex behaves and how to access data and, and stuff like that. So before long, you will be able to build your own uh, web application um, that you can publish online and, and use. So in, we're going to start with downloading the Dataflex. So here we are at uh, Data Access. Uh, website and uh, we can do, go to resources and click, click download Dataflex. But right now, this is Dataflex 19.1, and I want to use Dataflex 20 because it has uh, Unicode and 64 bit and all of these nice things that we want to play with. And um, it, probably when you're looking at this, or if you're not looking, when I upload the video directly, um, you will be able to download the full version of uh, the Studio 20. But if you're early on and um, want to look at the latest version, you go to Downloads and um, Dataflex and look at this Dataflex pre-release and click Download. Now we get into this page where we can download the latest candidates. And we want to play with the studio because that's where you write all the code and you edit and you can do everything. So let's download this one. And here you can read about the latest update, but we're just going to download the latest version. Uh, you might have to fill out a form with uh, an email and a username so you get a, a global account at uh, Data Access. Um, so you just go ahead and do that and then you download the application and then we're gonna move over to uh, installation now we got the um, dataflex studio release candidate on uh, the computer and we want to install it so we double click and welcome yes thank you yeah i agree and this is the information yes and we want to configure uh, iis because um, this is what we're going to use to deploy the web applications and test them so we want to use that english yeah you have a few different languages to choose from even though i'm swedish i prefer to have the uh, application in english so let's do that and these are the default paths and uh, install examples. This is a really good um, thing to have because when you install the samples, you can go into the order entry example, for instance, and have a look at the code and see how Data Access have built their application. So if you wanna kind of see how they do it, then you can go in there and, and uh, explore. That's a good thing to have. Yes, let's keep these. It's just default and install. So when you download Dataflex from uh, dataaccess.eu, you get 
a uh, license to try for 60 days, but you can also get the personal license uh, that is free for for all, but you uh, can only use Dataflex for private use. So that's a really good option if you want to play around with Dataflex and uh, use it on to build applications for yourself and use them personally. And how you get that personal license is you go in here to resources and discover Dataflex. And then you go down here and see personal edition. And in here, in order to get the uh, personal edition, you need to request a personal license that you can do down here just by filling out this form. And then you have the uh, personal license that you can use to play around with your application beyond 60 days. Okay. And when you got your personal license, you just go into help and license registration and enter your personal license right here. And uh, then it should update. You click register and then you should get your personal license ready. And now we have the studio installed and that's the goal for this video. Until next time, I encourage you to play around uh, you can create a, a new workspace using a wizard. So you can name it anything you like. And uh, you have the option of building uh, web applications, Windows applications, or mobile applications. Uh, so feel free to play around. And if you like, you can go into the samples and check out how they look um, and then um, just click here to run the application. And then you can see what the application does and play around a bit with it. So until next time, I encourage you to uh, look around the studio, play with the uh, different things, uh, the samples and look around and um, if you have any questions, uh, type them in the comments below and I'll get back to you about those as well and bring those up in the next video, perhaps. And uh, again, if you have uh, any suggestions to what type of applications we should build together, feel free to uh, come with suggestions in the comments. Bye for now.